So the question that we ask this evening before we go into our political panel is Mission 2024, a battle of two very separate narratives. Can Bharat Nyayatra offer an alternate narrative, a vision of shots? Will Rahul become the Congress campaign face and will Prime Minister's Wixit Bharat pledge work? And possibly the Congress find an answer to that. Is Ram Mandir BJP's major poll plan? All of that coming up in the next 20 minutes. Uh, joining me this evening is uh, Dr. Rajoy Kumar, Congress spokesperson, Syed Zafar Islam, Bharatiya Janata Party spokesperson, Rahul Verma, fellow Center for Policy Research. Dr. Kumar, uh, you know, to begin with you, sir, good evening. Uh, the fact is, from what was your first yatra, the Bharat Jodo yatra, and now the Bharat Nyaya yatra? Different demography, different topography, <laughs> a very different political landscape. You know, while one should encourage uh, expeditions, political and otherwise, but self-indulgence, just a few months before elections, when possibly you could be sitting with your alliance partner, seat-sharing, strategizing, finding a narrative, many would say it's self-indulgence. You're just trying to, you know, resurrect the image of the Congress where you've got lots of work on the table. <laughs> No, pretty. Uh, I think it's uh, very strange. Uh, when we started the Bharat Jodo Yatra, there was the question of self, self indulgence. Dr. Kumar, can we, can, we, can we correct your audio? You know, there's a problem with your audio. We're going to just try and correct uh, Dr. Kumar's audio. We're getting a lot of surround sound. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll cut across to Rahul Varma first and then we'll go on to our political panelists. Rahul Varma, to compare the Bharat Jodo Yatra to now the Bharat uh, Nyai Yatra. Very different political landscape, both demography, topography. If you're to compare the both, and if you're going to you know, juxtapose it, especially now the 14 states that this yatra is going to go through, to the results of each of these states on what they were in 2019, the Congress practically ended up with a knot. You know, it's passing through West Bengal, beginning in uh, you know, Manipur, where out of two it had zero uh, seats. Uh, you know, it's going through states like Uttar Pradesh, where it had one, where in Bihar of 40 seats, it had two, where, uh, you know, uh, one seat in out of 42 seats in Bengal, uh, 25 out of 25 wiped out in the favor of BJP in Rajasthan. Similarly, 26 out of 26 wiped out in Gujarat and just one out of 80 in a state like uh, Uttar Pradesh and one out um, of 29 in MP. Uh, thank you, Preeti. See, I, I don't think the question, uh, you know, should be whether this uh, sort of like the states that Congress is going to cover now, they didn't do well in uh, these states in 2019, because frankly, 2014 and 2019 were very, very difficult uh, results for the Congress party. So except a couple of states in the South, Congress party did not perform that well in terms of seats. So I don't think that should be the parameter of uh, uh, sort of like uh, where they should go or not go. But I think your intent behind the question is, which, which you uh, posed to Mr. Kumar, is shouldn't the Congress party actually sitting with allies and figuring out the strategy for the election? Uh, Yatra is fine, good. I, I think parties should definitely do be on the ground, listen to voters and perhaps uh, use some of the sentiments expressed on the, uh, 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 on the ground uh, to uh, 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 sort of like strategize for their campaign trail. But it's now too late and too little. I think uh, there was, of course, uh, when the Bharat Jodo Yatra round one happened, it, it ha generated a lot of excitement, uh, helped the Congress party at least, you know, uh, give, gave the, color, uh, the yes. party some momentum. But I think like now, within last year, party, especially after losing these three states in the northern India, uh, the party is sitting on a very, very sticky wicket. And if the allies see this as another attempt by the Congress party to basically uh, get a leg up in the negotiation, another thing, I think there would be a trouble brewing in the alliance. All right. Okay. Let's, uh, you know, while we are going to connect to Dr. Kumar, I want to cut across to Syed Zafar Islam. Syed Zafar Islam, you know, um, if you look at the Bharatiya Janta Party, you guys are much ahead. You are, you know, on the ball. Uh, you have the Wixit Sankalp Yatra, which, uh, you know, today uh, we heard the Prime Minister at with one of the functions there. You have the Ram Mandir. Then you have the La Bharati Factor. You have all of them working together. While by the end of 20, uh, you know, 24 January, you're already going to come up with a list of names on your weakest seats. Is this also a reaction to possibly the India Alliance now finally getting its act together, 
setting itself 31st December as a seat sharing date. So is there a sense of discomfort there that stems from how you've quickly decided to move on? Well, <clears throat> see, we are not even concerned, forget about overly concerned about all this Yatra and what in the Alliance meeting, this Kamandia Gadbandha meeting they, they are organizing because I know that it's a, these meetings have uh, it's unproductive meetings for them because nothing, no outcome so far. And even if they, they, they should they decide the, the number of seats uh, for each party, but there's a lot of difference under current between all the parties. So we are not concerned. We are focusing on our work. See, uh, uh, Vixit uh, Sankal Bharat Yatra is primarily for the beneficiaries of the welfare scheme. And those who are left, there are, there are the two sets of people who are already getting the eligible and getting the benefits. Mm -hmm. And there are some uh, people who are eligible, but yet not receive the benefit because of X, Y, Z reason. And as the Honorable Prime Minister said that, hum aapke paas aare, aapko ke liye. So we, we are working towards that. But Sai Zafar Islam, you can't deny the fact that uh, the Bharat Jodo Yatra in its first version did, uh, you know, for one, A, where the cadre of the Congress is concerned, completely uh, re-energized. And on ground, you did see impact. No, on ground, there was absolutely no impact. See, Raj, uh, Gujarat, when he was undertaking Yatra, Bharat Toro Yatra, that time, we, they lost, they lost uh, uh, Gujarat massively. Then, so they've lost Rajasthan, see, they've lost Gujarat, they've won the, Telangana, they've won Himachal. So there are see, states that they won as well in which the Bharat Jodo Yatra passed uh, from. So they have to see if their strength is only in two states, if they are only trying to uh, project these two states, fine, that is good for them. But tell me, tell, uh, let me tell you very honestly, even those states, when the general election will happen in uh, Karnataka, mm -hmm. we will win every single seat. This time they are not going to sing. Uh, win even one seat. And in Telangana, we will get at least out of 17, 10 seats, 9 to 10 seats will win. So where, what is the impact they will have? All right, okay, so let we, me bring it. Okay, I want to bring in Dr. Kumar back into the conversation if his audio is fixed. Dr. Kumar, the question yes. that I asked, you know, there's nothing wrong in political expeditions, Dr. Kumar, but the problem arises when it uh, occurs at the cost of your own alliance, uh, where you're yet to get your act together, you're less than five months away uh, from elections, and now you're embarking on a 90-day yatra. Is it just pure self-indulgence? Too late. You should have done this earlier if this is what you wanted. So, Preeti, uh, first of all, apologies for the, uh, you know, for the bad lighting i mean i'm i was so the lighting was I, perfect but you're taking a walk this evening but fine no, 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 no i'm not taking a walk at all i'm trying to find the best place to get a good light all right sir go so, ahead yeah so so it's all it's all for india for uh, india today so just we let, appreciate let, it sir we appreciate it so Preeti, i was hearing uh, the first speaking just now so my my question is the bharat jodo yatra was in a historical yatra whether they want to say what is the results of the election, Karnataka, you know, wherever the Yatra went, the performance performance was significantly, uh, uh, whether it was uh, uh, whether it was Karnataka, whether it was Telangana, even in Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh, much as the Bhatia Janta Party would like to keep claiming, the data has shown that we had 10 lakh votes more than the Bhatia Janta Party. Now, they did a better election management, and you need to give them a certain amount of credit on that. But what is this Nyaya Yatra? The Nyaya Yatra says that the women in this country, there is, no, there is no political justice in the country. Oppositions are being raided. The voice of the oppositions are being stifled. There is no social, there is no communal justice in the country. Communities are being attacked. And there is no economic justice in the country. And that's the three main themes of this yatra. That is, there is nyay for economic, uh, economic freedom, okay. nyay for sexual freedom, and nyay for political freedom. Now, believe me, when we start from Imphal and reach Mumbai, whether Zafar will, end up with, will keep creating stories, you will see the impact. You'll see the impact in the Lok Sabha of Orissa. You'll see the impact of Bengal, Bihar. Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, and, and, they, and, they, and they don't seem to understand. I mean, I was hearing Zafar telling me about Karnataka. Uh, I mean, I, I, I have a reasonable, decent understanding of Telangana and Karnataka because I've spent quite a bit of time in the past, uh, okay. uh, last, last year. So, so the, the Yatra 
will capture the imagination because people but, you are know, But suffering. Dr. Kumar, you know, may I just interject, sir? And the question I want to yes. ask you is, you talk about creating history. The fact is, you need to fight an election, not create history. Uh, you need to fight an election and possibly win it and not try and capture the imagination of people or resurrect the Congress party and the image of it. Many would suggest it's already too late. It's time for you to sit down with the India Alliance and strategize and broker the best possible fight and create a possible narrative for your alliance and not possibly regrowth for your own party. So, so let me put it this way. So I'm in charge of two states. Now, we are very much in discussion with the alliance partners. But if you understand, if you need to mobilize and mobilize the people of this country, our work continues, you know. Uh, the Bhatia Janta Party may not be able to work in, in uh, parallel. I mean, that's their problem. Or only Modi ji and Amit Shah ji decide and then they work. That's a different issue. But the Congress Party has this whole team working on... We have the alliance discussions happening. Are you going to... Okay, you know, before I go to Saeed Zafar Islam, I, I want to ask you, Dr. Kumar, are you going to keep your deadline of seat sharing of 31st December? Because time's running out, sir. Yes, sir, ma'am. We are already very much in discussion. We, we finished uh, the, we have the discussion of 29th and 30th. We will get everybody. 29th and 30th is when we finish the Congress perspective from all states. And then our discussions, and already the discussions have been on. It's not that we have not been discussing okay. with them. The, it, and let me, and I'll just add, a, and I'll, I'll just, I'll finish off with a, with a very important point. The, they might go on the temple issue. They might go on other issues. They realize that the people of this country are deeply unhappy with the unemployment okay. and the economic... But no, Dr. Kumar, you know, I'll cut across to uh, two sides of Islam. The fact is, they at least have an issue. You've counted three on your own. Many would turn around and say, what is your issue? What is your narrative? Because you're embarking on another yatra, but the messaging is unclear, sir. And you know that better. I'll come back to you and I'll cut across okay. to Rahul Varma as well on this. But Saeed Zafar Islam, you wanted to, uh, you know, come in and interject. Go ahead, sir. Make your point. Well, uh, well, you were posing these questions. What is the purpose of this yatra? And Dr. Rajoy Kumar conveniently avoided responding to you. Then. Let me tell you the truth. And I'm sure that everyone within the Congress uh, uh, party knows this truth, but he will definitely have a lot of hesitation in sharing with the rest of the world. Fact that Mr. Rahul Gandhi is on a picnic. This picnic has been organized by the party to keep him away from the election campaign and election work. He is somebody is like a child who is in, in trying to indulge in everything within the party and somehow the, within the party, everybody seems to be unhappy with the count, with his conduct and they feel uncomfortable. So but conveniently, he has been put on a uh, 6,200 kilometer long uh, 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 picnic trip. So let him enjoy the picnic while rest of the, and it will, it, that the other thing which they have objective, maybe the outcome could be that they, the, the disintegrated workforce within the Congress uh, party, perhaps they are thinking that they, he will be able to re-energize no, no, but, but you know, Dr. Said that, Zafar that Islam, one happen. might say that this is a self-indulgent exercise of Rahul Gandhi, but you and I both know, sir, there's enough evidence to prove it gets under your skin. During Bharat Joro no, Yatra, not at all. sir, Let you and I you. both know, you and I pretty, both know pretty. that it was pretty. somewhere down the line he did get under your skin with what was going on. Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Let okay. me tell you one more thing. Go ahead, sir. He, see, the, the Congress party is saying that he is not there to seek votes. I mean, it's not me. I mean, as a political leader who is from the first family, son of first family of the Congress party, who people draw strength from uh, first family, and he is he's from the first family, still, he is not there on this picnic to seek vote. And what does that indicate? Because they know that it will have no impact whether he seeks the vote or whether he doesn't. People will not give them any... Uh, All right, because we'll only know. Okay. Seriously. But Saeed Zafar Islam, we'll only know when the last vote is counted. But Rahul Varma, I'll come to you when it comes down to Yatras. There's no denying Dr. and we Dr. began Dr. the conversation Dr. with the fact that Bharat Jodo Yatra in its first version did well, especially for the image of Rahul Gandhi and the Kader re-energizing the Kader. History stands testimony. Yatras do give back. And it's happened in the case of Chandrasekhar Vyasar, his son, Jagan Mohan Reddy, Dick Vijay Singh, Chandra Babu Naidu, umpteen number of examples, Rahul Varma. But... 
the Congress doing so could also work because Congress is the fulcrum of the India Alliance. Congress will need to do really well for the India Alliance to do well. And Congress needs to win seats in the Hindi heartland where right now it stands completely wiped out. True, absolutely. On both counts, uh, uh, Priti, I agree with you. See, there are examples of Padhyatras bringing benefits to the leaders and parties, but you can also count number of yatras that have taken place uh, in Indian politics and did not do any good. For example, the 2009 yatra, uh, bus yatra or rath yatra, which Lal Krishna Dwani did, uh, it didn't bring any good for uh, the BJP or him, right? So uh, you have examples of both the things. I think you are absolutely right. Bharat Jodo yatra did benefit Congress party to a certain extent. But what pa Congress party has been doing in last several years, that it takes one step forward and then two steps backward. So Yatra did good. They, uh, after winning Karnataka, I think there was some momentum. But between, Kar and, and then uh, the India Alliance meetings and everything happened in July, August, September, there was a momentum. But between October, November, December, they rattled some allies. Uh, they did not do well in the Hindi heartland. And so everything now seems to be back to square one. Uh, I don't see any problem in itself by like what the Congress party and Rahul Gandhi has envisaged to do in next two, three months. I think that all parties should be able to go on the ground and, and, and be in conversation with the voter. But as you rightly pointed out, unless Congress party performs well in its competition against BJP, there are... 200, 220 odd seats, where in 2014 and 2019, Congress party lost more than 95% of those seats. So unless Congress party challenges B, uh, BJP in Gujarat, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Himachal, Uttaranchal, I think BJP will, 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 will be very, very close to or will be within the striking distance of power. Allies, uh, say TMC or uh, uh, RJD, JDU, they are anyway going to put up a challenge in their respective state. So alliance partner doing well is not going to stop BJP from within the striking distance of power, unless Congress party thinks that by doing this Nya Yatra, they can change uh, the electoral headwinds in, in, in some of the states where uh, they will uh, contest BJP. You know, uh, we're talking about yatras and not working. Uh, Said Zafar Islam, uh, like Rahul Varma mentioned, and it takes me back uh, to the Rath Yatra, that didn't quite work. And you have a lot pinned on the Ram Mandir. So technically speaking, you know, religious politics or Ram Mandir really hasn't worked for you if you hark back into political history. See, you are only harping on Ram Mandir. But we are talking about what we have delivered to the people. We are talking about the beneficiaries. We are talking about these schemes which we have introduced for the benefit of the common man on the street, the marginalized section of the society, the poorest section of the society. And that is something which uh, we know that we have been able to serve the people and we have the aspiration to, uh, to continue to serve the people. People do understand that we are not here for power. Position doesn't matter for even for the prime minister. The objective of the prime minister is to serve the people. And that's why the differentiating factor between us and Congress party, because they are all having lust for power, be it RJD, be it uh, Congress party, be it uh, JDU, be it any other uh, uh, Gamandia, Gadbandar alliance partner. They all family oriented. They all okay. have lust for power. They have zero objective to serve the people or serve the nation. In our view, our, upper, our uh, uh, Karakartas have always been told, first priority is to serve the nation. So, okay. desh, desh hit mein. Second is, of course, Raj hit mein, means for serve this state. And third is, of course, serve the people. So, we, our objective is very clear. When you serve so, the So, basically, nation, you're you not seeking people. any any political dividends from the Ram Mandir, though everything seemingly works in synchronization where it comes down to an event by the BJP. But, okay, sir. We, we, okay. Dr. Roy wants to, uh, Dr. Ajay Kumar wants to come in. Go ahead, Mr. Kumar. And tell the so, truth, please. Uh, about so, the picnic. The so, there, there is, about yeah, the no, picnic. one second. Okay, so I'll, okay. I'll talk. One second, one second, one second. Let me complete. First of all, political jingoism. Jingoism is the last refuge of scoundrels. You know, whenever you say, desh ke hit mein, desh ke hit mein, whether there are six people being killed in Kashmir in the, in the, whether it is whether it is the highest amount of employment, and I will talk to look at their language. 
here is a man who walked 4000 kilometers the party is uh, the, and the congress party has crossed the length and breadth of this country speaking the language and he says picnic look at gamandia alliance i mean the language these guys this is the language which is being used by all the kind of right wing people who have no sense of even decorum and zafar islam otherwise is is a seems is a reasonable man but even the dna of the bjp is so uh, is so toxic that he has to start with words like picnic we are touching are you meeting the people of india and saying that they are all wasting their time so 6000 okay. we are reaching one sec let me complete sir, sir. 6400 kilometers we are going to reach out that is political mobilization with you which your prime minister will never walk even 2 kilometers because he needs a helicopter and your home minister may not be able to walk more than 2 kilometers i don't want to comment on the okay. status of his uh, one sec but i'll tell you the fourth most important thing prime minister says forecast that is the problem in this country. Poor farmers, youth, women, the highest poverty in this country right now, the highest, that is poor, the highest unemployment in youth in this country, that is how much he's bothered about the youth. They're saying we serve the people. The highest number of uh, non-participation of women in workforce and, and anemia in this country is women and farmers. Okay. So all forecasts, according to BJP, which they're saying they're forecast. But Dr. Ajay Kumar, look at the irony. But look at the irony on all of it, sir, because the Hindi heartland includes all of these forecasts and um, testimony in terms of numbers stand that they all voted for the BJP. Not all, but a sizable chunk of that. That's where the irony lies. But, but, okay. but, but I'll tell you one thing. They lost no one side. They, lo they lost the last... You remember they lost Madhya Pradesh? They have no lust for power. They, don't, they, they didn't lose Madhya Pradesh. No lust for power. They won Madhya they Pradesh. Bought, one side, one side. When we won Madhya Pradesh, they... They tried to break, they spent crore, but they have no lust for but power. But come on, yeah, okay, Rajasthan, Dr. Kumar, no you had, okay, power. Dr. Kumar, one second, one especially second. at the back of a stolen mandate, you have every opportunity to come back. That was an election, sir, that you lost on your watch. That but election okay. is on you. It's exactly. not on the BJP. All right, okay. Said Zafar Islam, last final words. Uh, Rahul Varma smiling away, just 10 seconds each. Uh, uh, Said Zafar Islam, last word and then we'll move on. See, to, uh, I mean, I'm not trying to say anything negative about the the prospect of uh, India Alliance, but everyone knows that uh, they have very limited prospect. And uh, it, as far as 2024 is concerned, it's a done deal as far as Bharati okay. Janta Party and India and is concerned India. because people have uh, people have uh, made up their mind to to bless India. Okay. Rahul Varma, if you, and as an analyst signing. and someone India you know who, who knows the numbers and who studied the system. If you had to lay bets and hedge bets, do you think the Bharat Naya Yatra will work or not work? Uh, depends what they want to work it for. Is it about just winning 2024? I think that bet is now very, very difficult to place on. But if, it, if this is an attempt to rebuild the Congress party, if it is an attempt to basically uh, uh, look for a long haul revival of the Congress party, I think all okay. these yatras are important. Right. But if Congress party keeps doing this, which is what it has been but doing. But ultimately, now. it's about to win elections. Taking uh, one step right. forward and two step backward, it won't help. All right, we're going to leave it at that. Uh, you know, we, we'll give you the benefit of doubt, Dr. Kumar. We'll see how that goes and especially how you work it out with your India Alliance partners. 90 days yatra, less than five months away from elections. Uh, interesting where television is concerned. We're going to enjoy it. Thank you, uh, Dr. Islam, Dr. Kumar and uh, Rahul Varma.